U.S. Farm Report weather is brought to you by H&S Manufacturing. Poly sides, floor, and a rear monoblock gearbox on vertical beater models are just some of the great features of the H&S Hydra Push 425 and 550 bushel model manure spreaders. Find out more about the Hydra Push at the H&S website. Time now for a check of weather with meteorologist Matt Engelbrecht. Matt, talk about a sudden shift this week after such a mild stretch with this Indian summer. We saw a blast of cold air enter the picture this week. How big of an area do those below normal temperatures now span? Yeah, thanks, Ty. In terms of just how far we're expecting this cold air to reach, well, I got a map here in the United States. Nearly two thirds of it uh, expected to be at or below normal regarding our highs and our lows. And the pocket of coldest air uh, continuing to sink into the Midwest and then back down here to Texas, into Texas and Louisiana, uh, mainly because that's compared to average. Now the timestamp is going to be very important on this because there's uh, two things that you'll see on this map. This is October. 31st, so Halloween <laughs> into November 4th. Uh, that's only going to be four or five days with these uh, below normal temps. We're starting to see hints, as you'll see in a second with the jet stream. The second part of this map is right here. If this was cold, we'd be talking about an extended period of cold air in and across the United States. But with that trough trying to dig down to the south, that cold air trying to dig down to the south, the ridge that is building on the west coast will be nudging that out as we get into next weekend. So by Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we're going to see a shift back uh, to average, if not slightly above average temperatures. And you'll see that with the jet stream uh, here in just a second. Uh, October 31st, Halloween through November 4th, uh, you got a ridge of high pressure as well as that cold, dry air uh, digging in across the United States. So not expecting much in the way of rainfall. Most of the rain that came down regarding these two systems, the trough and the ridge, and most of that rain came down earlier in the weekend. Uh, so Thursday, Friday and Saturday is when that rain really picked up. Uh, so as we go through our Sunday and Monday, you'll see that trough right up here in the top part of your screen. Uh, because this ridge is stronger than expected, uh, that cold air, it is going to be expansive, but it's not going to linger uh, in and across the United States. So this is going to be moving through Wednesday into Thursday, and you start to see that hint, so which I was just talking about, uh, the ridge building, warmer air building off the west coast. Uh, that is eventually going to translate to the east and pick up these white lines, literally pick them up and push them to the north, uh, which is where we get back uh, almost into a pattern where we're going to see at or above average high temperatures. This jet stream on Friday, very indicative of a warmer than average trend coming to the United States. This is going to pivot out you know, to the northeast with that ridge starting to build back in. Again, that's that jet stream coming up on Friday. Thanks, Matt. Well, we've seen some talk about grain prices repeating 2008 or other years, but is there a story in these grain markets at all? Joe Vaklovic and Peter Meyer join us with that answer next. U.S. Farm Report is brought to you by Tendovo Soybean Herbicide, raising the pre-emergence bar one clean row at a time. 